Hi everyone and welcome to this episode of the Cast. In this episode I am going to be unboxing the Funko Pop version of a Gremlin. But before I do, please like and subscribe to this channel. So, let's get to this. So I was in Lake George, New York with my family a few weekends ago and I went to a place called Heroes Hideout where they have a lot of Funko Pops and collectibles and they also have another store near Albany, New York and I got this Gremlin. I've seen these before a few years ago they have this stripe one, basically it's stripe from the Gremlins movie and they also have Gizmo, the Mogwai so I'm hoping that this is a real one, it's not a copy, a counterfeit because all, I mean it is it, it says Gremlins up here like the movie and it just says Gremlins vinyl figure and on the bottom here, it's pretty simple. I got it for, um, here you see I got it for $12.99. Uh, it's just, a, all it says here is made in China and it gives Funko their website and their address in Washington State. Uh, it's pretty simple. I'm not sure, maybe back then, they, when they were, uh, when these pops were starting to come out, um, were becoming more popular, they were just, they were simpler. They were, had a simpler print job on the bottom. Uh, they don't really put the faces on the bottom anymore, so maybe that's what they were doing in the beginning. This is a gremlin. It's very simple too. I like how these early ones are pretty simple. Now they're uh, they have more. I mean, it's nice that they're there's more detail to them, but it's also nice that these early pops had a simpler look to them. Uh, m not as many details. So here's the back here. Uh, collect the entire line of Funko Pop movies, super, si uh, super stylized vinyl figures. They'll thrill you. Looks like it's the side of Gizmo's box here when he basically got stolen from the Chinese guy in Chinatown. Or Little China, where it was. Um, San Francisco, maybe? I'm not sure where it was in. I'm not sure if it was New York City or San Francisco where the, uh, the father was that gave it to Billy. Here's Stripe here version of Stripe, but let's unbox it. Here's the top here. Pop movies. He's number, what number is he? He's number six out of this line. So let's take him out of the bottom here. And here he comes. I remember seeing him in, him and Gizmo, I remember seeing at a FYE in, in Utica at the Sangertown Mall, at the FYE there. But here he is. Like I said, it's stripe. He has the mohawk there on the top, even though it just says a gremlin. Oh, some interesting things here. Oh, his head moves back and forth, like, just like that. He has the mohawk here, the white mohawk of stripe. It's, pretty, it's nice that it, uh, it's three dimensional like this. You can see how it's bumpy there on the top. You can see the striations of the individual hairs there. Got some spiky teeth there. Sharp teeth. Bite you and eat you with. He has some details there. There's some little green dots there. Little green dots there. His eyebrows have some green, lighter green dots on top of the light green. On top of the darker green. There's a smi the evil smile there. A little, little piggy note. Piggy nose there. Pointed ears. Pretty simple. Not that detailed. I mean, they do have some on the back here is more detailed. Nice uh, coloration there. I like the the yellow with the red on either side of them. And he has a few green dots there, like green dots on the back of his ears there. The back is interesting because you have the bumps going down for the backbone, the spine there. It comes down to this funky tail. I kind of remember them having a tail. I didn't know it was flat like that. I knew it was kind of flat, but it's just this stylized Funko Pop version of the tail. He has these kind of like dinosaur-like feet here. I like the th three fingers here. He has a three-fingered hand there. Three fingers on each of the hands with the black, black claws. Same with the toes. Three toes with the claws on the end of the toes there. Bottom says trademark 
Copyright, I guess that's Warner Brothers Entertainment on the one foot. And on the other foot, it says Funko LLC 2011. Gives the website and made in China. This his belly here has some those details that are actually carved into the plastic there. I like how you have the yellow with the the red outline there, and the arms there. Same thing with the the green with the yellow and red bands there going around the arms. I guess I'm gonna to have to get Gizmo now now that I have him. One thing I would recommend is just watch the prices on these things no matter where you get them, whether you get them at a entertainment place like FYE. I'm not sure if FYE is nationwide, but on the East Coast here, we have F, uh, For Your Entertainment, FYE. They're pretty reasonable with their prices, but um, I was, I think, cheated out of a, a recent purchase at this Heroes Hideout. I think it was over um, there. They're, we're price gouging their He-Man, some of their He-Man uh, figurines. A uh, Triclops I got there, but I'll, I'll talk about when, talk about that when I do unbox the Triclops. But let's put Stripe here on the turntable and give them a spin. Okay, well here's the Funko Pop version of a Gremlin. More specifically, Stripe, even though it doesn't say that on the box. It just says Gremlin's Vinyl Figure, number six. But it's in their Pop Movies line, one that came out a few years ago. Thanks for coming to this episode of the Kaz. Please like and subscribe. Please go to our Etsy shop, which you'll find in the description. Go to Etsy and look up Archangel Productions, where you can buy our lapel pins and signed DVDs. Again, thanks for coming, and I will see you later. Thanks. Bye.